In this video, we are looking at horizontal stretch and shrink of parent functions. Our parent function today is f of x equals absolute value of x. I'm going to drop the parent function over here on the graph to the right. Remember that it splits this quadrant and also the same thing over here. So this is just our very basic parent function square root of um, absolute value of x. Sorry about that. Now let's look at the absolute value of 3x. So what happens here to the graph when we have absolute value of 3x? So if we have a number, let's say 1, then 1 times 3 is 3 and the absolute value of 3 is also 3. So we now have 3. And if I had negative 1, the absolute value of 3 times negative 1 is also 3. So now we have this graph. So again, this is horizontal. Notice that our number that's being multiplied here is inside our function. And if we're thinking about this in the horizontal direction, this is actually shrinking. So this is shrinking. So if I look at this in the horizontal direction, I'm shrinking it horizontally. I'm making it smaller. It's getting closer to the y-axis here, okay? Let's take the same thing with the absolute value of 1 fourth x. So I still have zero, zero. And then I have one, one times one fourth is one fourth. Absolute value of one fourth is also one fourth. So I've got one fourth here. I could, let's do another one just since that's so low. So let's do two, two times one fourth is one half. Absolute value of one half is one half. And then we're gonna have a similar thing happening over here on the left side. So this will be our graph for the one-fourth, absolute value of one-fourth x. Again, notice that the number is inside the function. So it's not outside the absolute value, it's inside the absolute value. And we're looking at this horizontally. So what's happening here? Well, it's staying here in the middle, but I'm taking this and pulling it from both sides to make it wider. I'm pulling this to both sides to make it wider. So this is actually stretching it horizontally. So this stretching horizontally is our green graph. Okay, so again, if this number, we're gonna call it B here, but if this number in front of the X inside the function is greater than one, it's going to shrink horizontally. If it's in between zero and one, it's going to stretch horizontally. Now, I wanna make a point here. This is the absolute backwards of our vertical stretch and shrink. So our vertical stretch and shrink, if it's on the outside but greater, it's stretching. And if it's smaller or in between zero and one, it's shrinking. So you can think about, I've said this before, if you've seen any of my other videos, but if it's inside, it's the exact opposite of what you would normally do. So if you're thinking about it vertically, think of the opposite to get horizontal. So if it's greater than one, you're now going to shrink. And if it's in between zero and one, we're now stretching because we're doing it in the horizontal direction.